happy Easter all my friends out there in YouTube land, those that celebrate it. I am Dr. Falk with a special Easter video, um, talking about Sonic Boom. Uh, well, I'm not going to talk much about it. I'm not the biggest fan of this album. Uh, I like uh, Modern Day Delilah and uh, Animal and Me, and I think maybe another one. But I'm not a really big fan of this, but I want it on vinyl because it's extremely expensive on vinyl. And it doesn't matter if I like it or not, I am a vinyl collector, and if I like a band and I love Kiss, I want all their albums. I even own Crazy Nights, which I think is even worse than this one. Uh, so, but this costs hundreds and hundreds of dollars online. Not worth getting, in my opinion. I, might, I, I may love the band and may want it bad, but I don't think I'd pay more than 40 bucks for a vinyl. Has to be a very special vinyl. Definitely I wouldn't do this. But, but... Somebody by the name of Brent Isbell. Oops. Uh, did I fuck it up? No, unfortunately I didn't. Um, he wrote me saying, hey, are you still looking for a Sonic Boom vinyl? I have one. And I, first thing I thought was, I'm not going to pay what this guy's going to offer. I know he's going to offer more than I want to pay. And... Uh, I said, well, yes, I am. How much? And he said, dude, I'm going to give it to you for free. And I was like, what? And he goes, you know, and he said that, you know, he's recently, you know, he found God. And, you know, he's just doing stuff in his life. It makes him feel good to give stuff away. So he sent me this for free. So now my Kiss Vinyl Collection is complete. No I do not count the originals. I don't own the originals. Uh, but I have everything else. I, I'm talking about official releases. Not bootlegs, not greatest hits, none like that. Though I do have uh, Double Platinum. It's the very first Kiss album I bought. I love it. Uh, though that's another one I haven't bought on the 180 gram versions because it's extremely expensive. I'm planting seeds in, in case anybody wants to send me. And check this out. It's still sealed. And he sent it to me, still sealed. And it has a little orange sticker here, a little round one, which I, I guess it means it is an orange vinyl. Well, I'm going to open it. I'm going to open this. Because I'm not, I'm not the type of person, even though I never opened my, uh, my crazy nights. But I'm going to open this one. Because, fuck it. Right? It's not about the money with me, man. So, but I also don't want to destroy this. So here I go. I'm opening it, and I'm taking the plastic off. See what's, uh, I'm not going to break the plastic, though. I'm just going to gently take it off and uh, see what, what it looks like on the side. It, it seems to be a gatefold. So, uh, man, Brent, thank you so much. You done helped me complete my KISS vinyl collection, in my opinion. All I need is all official, all the official uh, studio releases and the live releases. I, I have them all. Uh, you know what I, which one I don't have, and it's probably on vinyl, is the Symphony one. But I do have the Millennial and all that shit. Come on, get out of here. This is a tight one. Mmm, tighter than a... Well, oops, I almost said something blasphemy, which I'm not going to do that. Because it is Easter, so I'll save it for another one. Okay, here it is. Here's the gatefold. Scab Kiss Galore. And it seems to have something in, something extra in here. Oh, look. Looky here. A poster. A poster of Scab Kiss. Something that will never touch my walls. But, cool to have, man. I'm telling you, I'm happy I have this because... I'm happy to end my final collection of KISS. And by the way, I know a lot of you people are not fans of Monster. And I love that album. And uh, somebody brought up a interesting point on, on the Almost Human Facebook page, if you're not part of it. This guy said, I love Monster. And if KISS is going to end their career with that album, I'm happy with it. And I got to agree. All right, here's the, it brings the lyrics. 
and more pictures of scab kiss. And sure enough, it's not really orange, is it? It's more red. Red vinyl. Well, almost orangey red. So there you go, man. Brent, I can't thank you enough, buddy. Thank you so much. I even said to him, dude, uh, it's up to you. You want me to make a video to say what a cool thing you did? He said, you know, I don't care. It's up to you. He's such a modest dude. He's so awesome. I said, well, that means I'm going to do it. So thank you so much, Brent, uh, for this. I can't thank you enough. I had to make a video dedicated to you, friend. And I wish you all the best. And here's something else I got in the mail the other day. I ordered the, the first Kiss album, 45th anniversary, and I played it. And it's pretty fucking good. Uh, what, ma what makes this different is uh, it's like a silver with some black splodges. Uh, somebody put up on the Almost Human page. It had way more black splotches all over it. And uh, I was kind of like, ew. <laughs> I don't even like the little black splotches here. I'd rather it all be silver. But I played it and it feels like 180 gram. Even though it doesn't say it on here. But... Um, I tell you, man, I have this serious addiction to vinyl, you know. It's very expensive. It's like being uh, addicted to cocaine, you know. It's pretty much the same. I just blow a lot of money in. You know, for some reason, though, when they released the Destroyer one, I wasn't interested. When they released the Rock and Roll one, the orange one, that I was interested in, and I bought that one. And then when I saw this was coming out, I said, fuck that, I'm buying this too, so... There's something else I got. Anyway, happy Easter, everybody. Uh, those that just want to see Kiss, bye. Skedaddle, you can go now. Um, I'm going to leave you with this, and this is going out to Brent as well. This is a video I made. Now, uh, I got to say, I'm not a religious person. I'm going to be honest. But I'm not one of these satanic people, and I'm not one of these people to blasphemy God. And, you know, like a lot of my metalhead friends just go nuts with the... Actually, my, uh, I wrote a song on the first Thrash or Die album called Mosh Pit Messiah, which is about Jesus coming back from the dead, torturing uh, black metal artists from Norway. It's a comedy. It's a cute little comedy, heartwarming comedy. But I'm kind of like, I don't believe in Satan, I don't believe in God, but at the same time, I'm not one here to say that God doesn't exist. I don't know. I don't know what happens after we die. None of us do. But, you know, hey... If you want to hate on God, go right ahead. If you want to hate on the devil, go right ahead. Everybody's free to think what they want. I think what I want. Now, uh, one of my favorite bands ever is Merciful Fate, which is a total satanic band. But I just love it for the music. And when he sings about Satan, I don't know. It kind of affects me in a good way. I'm like, you know, this is fucking evil, man. But then at the same time, I love Striper. I love Baron Cross. You know, I love... Uh, White Cross. I like a lot of Christian metal as well. So uh, I'm going to leave you with this. I made a video for the Striper song called Yahweh. Now, here's the thing. I always liked Striper as a kid. I wasn't a fan of like the ballad -y stuff they did. That was a little too sugar-coated for me. But I liked the heavy stuff like The Way, More Than a Man, Loud and Clear, To Hell with the Devil, The Rain, Writing on the Wall. They had so many killer Soldiers Under the Command, so, so many killer, killer uh, metal songs that I loved them back when I was a kid. But I got to say, man, their last three albums, for me, are the best ones yet. Uh, the last one, Goddamn Evil, is awesome. Uh, but the one before it called Fallen is my all-time favorite Striper album as of now. I mean, they've been on a roll, especially Michael Sweet. His last, his last um, solo album was great. The first one he did with George Lynch, the Lynch Sweet or Sweet Lynch album was awesome. I wasn't a fan of the second one, but I think Michael Sweet's a killer talent. I have his book, Great Read. Uh, so I made a video for my all-time favorite Striper song as of now, which is off, the not the last album, but the one before it, called Yahweh. I made a video for Yahweh, and uh, I think it's appropriate to put it up on Easter, whether you believe in Jesus or not. Hey, man, it doesn't matter. Just think what you want, but don't don't push your ideas that God doesn't exist on others because you know how it makes you feel when a preacher tries to tell you. Like, you've been to a concert with people outside, accept Jesus now, don't burn in hell. You are no different than those people 
to tell people that God doesn't exist. But whatever. If you want to be a hypocrite, go right ahead. But anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, and again, I can't thank you enough, Mr. Brent. And I'm sorry I keep reading your name because I'm old and forgetful. Uh, Brent Isbell. He's the one that sent me this. You fucking rule, brother. Thank you so much for this. Uh, this on vinyl. So, um... Uh, God bless you, my friend. So this video is for you and anybody out there that likes Striper and uh, or is celebrating Easter and you believe in Jesus and God, enjoy. This is uh, my favorite Striper song I made a video for. This is called Yahweh. Bye, everybody. Yeah.
This video was brought to you by Miami Metal Merchant. For competitive prices and for your metal needs, visit www.miamimetalmerchant.com.